for my creative project today. I have a technique that I think you will enjoy making and giving any time of the year. My textured canvas is created with texture paste and stencil paint cream. Let me show you how you can create your own heart art canvas with love. Here are the supplies that you will need to create your texture heart canvas. Texture paint, small canvas, a heart pattern, palette knife, stencil brushes, stencil paint cream, and I use shrink plastic for my stencil and use a craft knife and scissors to cut it. The first thing I did is I took a piece of paper, folded it in half, and cut it into my heart shape. I had to keep adjusting it to be sure that it fit onto my canvas. The next thing you would do is actually trace your pattern onto your shrink plastic or whatever you're going to use to create your stencil. So as you can see, I've cut that out right here. I used the craft knife to start my cut in my plastic and then used my scissors. And as you can see, it's not exactly precise and that's fine. You don't have to be absolutely perfect in the shape of your design. So you lay your pattern, your stencil pattern, over your canvas and just squeeze that texture paint and you want a lot of texture on your heart and you're going to have to carefully hold that heart stencil in place. If you wanted to you could probably use double stick tape to help hold it in place but I'm just going to hold it with my hand and carefully move that texture paste around. Again, you want it real thick on this project. And take care around the edges that you don't push that paste up under your stencil. The fun thing with the heart is you can use the tip of your palette knife if you want to add more design or texture to it, or you can make it smooth. Really, the choice is yours. Lift your stencil, and you have your heart pattern. The next thing you want to do is let this dry completely overnight, especially since I'm using that really thick paste. I want to let this set overnight to dry completely. Now that my texture paste has dried on my canvas, and as you can see, it dries to a really nice dimension, the next step is to apply your color. What I like to do is use that same template that I use to apply my paste to actually place right back over so that it keeps the colors where I want on the heart so that I can come back in with other colors for the background. I'm using stencil paint cream, which is actually oil-based, but it is water, soap and water cleanup. And here's a tip when you are working with these stencil paint creams, they do, when they set, they do form a skin on the top that helps protect and preserve the paint for your next use. So when you open up your container, don't be worried if you find that there is a skin on the top because we're going to break right through that so that we can pick up color with our brush. I'm using a stiff stencil brush and just picking up color and I'll do that with several other colors so that I have them ready because the painting process goes pretty quickly. 
The stencil paint cream comes in different size containers and in different color collections. So again, I'm just loading that stencil paint cream onto the brushes. Realigning the pattern. Keep your stencil brush straight up and down on your canvas and start circling. Keep rubbing that color in. And as you can see, the color really goes a long ways. You don't have to keep dipping in for more color. Changing color. And it's blending beautifully together. I can see I want to add more cream to my brush. Be sure and get into all of the nooks and crannies. And there I have my heart. Isn't that pretty? I love adding the yellow or leave some white showing because that adds more dimension and makes your heart colorful. For the background I love to use copper and golds. And you apply your paint the same way and just being careful along those edges I have a little bristle here careful along the edges so that you're not bringing that color up over the heart and just keep working it in. I do like to apply several coats of the copper background color so that I can be sure that I've worked the color completely into the canvas. That canvas is really textured so you have to keep scrubbing and working your color in. When you take a look at my finished example, you will also see that I have used a stencil that has some fun designs and applied that over my background color. To do that, I would let the background color set overnight and then come back in and do your over stenciling to add some fun design to the background. So keep working your color into the background, layer the colors. That's what's so much fun about the stencil paint cream because it is blendable and you just keep layering your colors and you can get some really interesting effects with your color blending. In addition to the top, you want to be sure that you get the sides of your canvas also because you want the whole canvas covered with color. As I mentioned, this is an oil-based stencil paint cream, but it is clean up with soap and water so makes it really easy to use. I think we should celebrate love all year round and a collection of canvas hearts is the perfect way to do that.